Welcome to another uh, YouTube live, uh, YouTube live show. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Uh, happy Mondays to you. Uh, this morning, I'm going to talk about uh, tips and tricks for the Barista Express. I think I talk about this many, many times, but uh, I think I'm going to kind of focus on two things this morning. I'm going to focus on the manual mode and also how to change the temperature on your Barista Express. So by the way, I, I have my gear shirts on this morning because I saw her video uh, a couple years ago. She made uh, this great video on uh, tips and tricks of uh, Brisa Express. I think that's the video at first time I kind of introduced to Brisa Express and there was a fantastic video. I think she has a, almost a million views on that video. Anyway, so let's get going. By the way, if you are new to the channel, welcome to the community. And I do daily uh, videos trying to do regular daily show around 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, Mountain Standard Time. Uh, we are in Arizona. And then like begin, uh, first part of the video, uh, we talk about uh, topics. Like this morning, I'm going to talk about the manual mode and how to change temperature. Maybe second half, maybe if you have time, you know, you guys ask me questions. Kind of like chit-chatting. It's, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't joined us yet, uh, make sure to stay tuned for that as well. Uh, so let's get going. So, if you guys just got this machine recently, uh, last couple of weeks, you may be very frustrated. So, I, I'm going to give you another tip on the uh, back of your tray, you're going to have four different baskets. And then definitely in the beginning, I think I say that many, many times, start with uh, double wall baskets. It's called uh, double wall basket, also known as the uh, pressurized basket. So, this one gives you a perfect shot every time. Um, you know, it's not going to give you a great shot, but it's going to be a really good shot. A lot better than any other coffee you are going to get it from grocery store. So make sure to play with a uh, pressurized basket for the next couple of weeks or so, okay? And just have fun with it because it's nothing like you got so frustrated, ended up returning this machine. I don't want you to do that. So make sure use the pressurized baskets, uh, which means you can use pre-ground beans as well. And also you can, you know, you can... Uh, it comes to grinder setting. If you want to use a freshly grinder beans, just setting around number eight or so. And then put about, you know, just, just fill the top and temp, you're good to go, okay? And you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, that's my recommendation for if you're brand new to Brewster Express. And so people like, you know, I know most, most of you out there playing with Brewster Express for the last six months or so. And now, if you want to kind of like experiment with other function on your uh, Brista Express, they got two modes, okay? Manual mode and program mode. Manual program mode or automatic mode. So right now, this one said that, you know, one of you push the button, give you default, uh, let's say, uh, default uh, amount, okay? The value metric. So, but... Sometimes I just like to use a manual mode. So I'm going to take a, pull the two shots and then I'm going to show you what they look like. So with manual mode, you can actually control the pre-infusion time as well. The pre-infusion time is uh, when you're putting the shot, give you a really low pressure, couple bars of pressure and soak the pop and then give you full pressure. So uh, by default setting, you're looking around 7 to 10 seconds pre-infusion. <clears throat> but with the manual mode, you can override that. You can have like 2 or 3 second infusion, go up to maybe 10 or 20 second infusion. So let me show you the that, uh, manual mode right now. They're a lot of fun to use. So I already pre-measured 17.5 uh, gram already. And uh, I like to do single dosing. This makes it a lot easier since since I don't like to use the hopper, so. Okay, I'm just gonna flush out my shot glass. No, no my machine and heat up my shot uh, glass here as well, like so. Okay. So I'm gonna give you another trick as well, the tips. If you want to set up a uh, a default mode. Let's say if you play with the program mode and you want to erase it, simply hold down your power button, uh, not the program button here for like three seconds, okay?
you hear that three beeps, which means now everything's were factory set. So all your temperature setup setting as well as your program mode is all wiped and clean. So everything is now is a factory mode. All right. So you know what? Uh, let's start with our regular mode, okay? And then I'm going to show you the uh, program mode. So I'm going to pull the standard shot. I'm using my 3D dosing funnel here. Okay. And then just to make sure, I like to have all the beans out. Just one more time. And then even though these are empty right now, they still have some beans left inside. So what I, I've been doing is take the top up like so, just give it a quick pump and bring out all the beans. So now we have about 17 point like two or three gram inside here in the uh, filter baskets. Okay. So let's give it a good uh, temp here. Uh, let's do distribute. Uh, you can use any distribution tool, okay? It doesn't have to be anything special. I happen to use San Antonio Industry temp. And that comes to timing. I like to start time uh, when I start the button. So I got my scale. Okay. My scare setup here. I'm gonna give you guys a better look. So now I'm doing is I'm doing the just manual mode. I'm, I'm sorry, not the manual, the uh, uh, factory setting. Factory setup. Everything is our factory set. Press the button. Hopefully, I dialed in okay for grinder setting wise. Pressure is around one o'clock range there. I'm looking for around 20, and no, I'm sorry, uh, 34 gram or so. Okay. 33 is fine. So now actually it timed out, okay, which means the machine has the, the internally uh, set up value metric after a certain time that shuts up automatically. So they happen to be when I reach, uh, let's say 33 uh, gram. Yep. Hold on a second, 30, almost 34 gram there. So that was my uh, factory set. The problem with the factory set, which means you're stopped prematurely. Sometimes you stop at like 25 gram or so. I know some of, uh, some of you actually complain about that. So, so next thing, I'm going to show you how to override that. So meantime, I'm going to try out the espresso. Uh, I mean, even though it uh, seems like over extracted, but we'll see. Okay, let's take a look. Cheers. A little bitter. Okay, it's not too bad. It's definitely good. It's definitely good there. So what I'm going to do is this time, I'm going to show you guys how to do manual mode. Okay, so manual mode is a lot of fun to use. So, so it's all up to you at this point. You like to have a shorter infusion time, pre-infusion time, or longer pre-infusion time. So it's all up to you. It's all, all about your taste. So. I think I'm going to do, you know what, Let, I'm going to do about 15 second pre-infusion, okay, on this one, this shot coming up. Did you ever have problems with that scale, Linda wants to know? Which one, Akaya scale? Someone asked me about Akaya scale. I have no problem with using Akaya scale so far. I mean, this is, even though it's very overpriced, but I love the functionality of it. It's a lot of fun to use, but, okay. So let's get going. Let's do... Manual mode. Manual mode is one of my favorite. The method to make a coffee. Okay. 
I'm just gonna, okay. I mean, it's, it's a nice and clean. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up my photo filter. You might want to do the between shots because you can actually clean out the old coffee grinds on the top there as well. I mean, this is really, yeah. I mean, if you, if you haven't done it, definitely give it a try. So I have another 17.5 gram. A Kaya Lunar, uh, this, this scare has the rubber on the top, so it's not too bad. So let's give it a one more shot here. So we're gonna do a manual mode with, I'm gonna do 15 second pre-infusion. Tap everything out. Okay. So I did the exactly same setting as before. So everything should be all the same. Same setting. And then this time I'm going to be pre-infusion. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to add one more uh, twist on that, okay? And I'm going to change temperature as well. So this is a somewhat medium to dark roast. So right now I'm at <clears throat> factory set at 200 degree. Instead of 200 degree, I'm going to go minus two, okay, for this coffee. So I'm going to see what's the taste difference between different free infusion time and temperature change. So uh, watch this. Whenever you change, uh, changing, uh, changing temperature change, shut it up first, okay, like so. And then you are going to hold down power button, turn on your power on at the same time. <clears throat> You're gonna see here one beep. You're gonna go, you are going to press the filter size the, right above there, that button here. That's minus two, okay? So now we just change our temperature to minus two from the default temperature around like one, around 200 degree there. So, so now we are ready to go. And what I like to do is between shots, just make sure I'm going to Flush out one more time, like so. So now this water is minus two from the factory. <clears throat> so now we're gonna do manual mode plus adjusted temperature water. And what I'm looking for is we are going to see the taste in, the, uh, it's going to be a different taste in coffee. So, same as the last time, I'm going to start time when first drop hits. Hold on a second here. Okay. Let me give you guys a better look. So I'm going to be doing, so hold on, before we do that, I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do. The manual mode is just hold down, hold down your button until you're, you, want to you want to stop uh, pre-infusion. So as long as you hold this button, you are doing the pre-infusion. Could be 10 seconds, could be 15 seconds. So this time I'm going to do 15 second pre-infusion. I'm going to set it down. Now, I'm just holding down with my thumb here. Now it's pre-infusion is happening right now, as we speak. So right now, I mean, you know what, let's go 20 second pre-infusion, just for fun. Okay, and let it go, full power. I'm looking for 34, just like that. So now we have about 20 second pre-infusion with a minus two temperature. So hopefully we are going to have a different uh, tasting profile here. 
Cheers. Wow. What a difference, guys. If you haven't played with the pre-infusion time and uh, changing temperature, make sure to try this. If you are using like medium to dark roast, I recommend uh, minus two like what I did. Okay, really fantastic. And so definitely worth trying because it's a lot more sweeter. It's more smooth as well. Uh, the, the key is if you are using like lighter roast, you want to be somewhat hotter. Okay, water should be a little harder than regular if you are using the lighter roast. So, Brista, Brista Express makes so much easier to change the temperature only two steps away. So, right now I'm gonna set a number uh, minus two. So let's say <clears throat> I wanna go back to factory set, okay? I'm gonna simply shut it off, hold on to my program button again, and I'm gonna hit the power button, you're gonna hear the one beep. And then program button. So now you went to the factory mode, the, the original uh, temperature as well. So, so that is your original temperature. Single cup represent plus two, plus four. Okay, plus two, plus four, minus two, minus four. Simple. Decrease temperature again. Just, just like what I did. Shut the machine off. We are, we are going to go back to minus two again, okay? You know what, Let, let's do minus four. Hold down the power button, just hold it down. You are going to hit the power button here, you're gonna hear one beep. So right now we are at factory. So now we are at minus four. I hope you guys got this. How Celsius is the factory? Okay, so this is Fahrenheit, okay, because Fahrenheit, I think it's around between 195 and 200 as the, your factory set. I think, uh, I think, uh, let's see, I think George mentioned to me last time is around set around like more, more likely 200 degree there for factory set. So again, minus two, minus four, plus two, plus two as the single cup button and plus four as the uh, double cup button. Okay, so once you want, it can be sometimes can be a little somewhat tricky, but just remember as a program as your starting point zero, okay? Plus two, plus four, minus two, and minus four. So now I'm gonna go back to uh, standard, okay? So this is my uh, factory factory mode somewhat. Again, hold on the program button. You're gonna hear the one beep. Now I'm at the factory mode. I hope you guys got this. Okay, so. Is it possible to program your shots when using pre-infusion? Uh, someone asked me, can I program the pre-infusion time? Answer is, I don't think so. I haven't done it, but I don't think so. Because uh, with the program mode, pretty much you want to tell when to stop. When to start and when to stop. That's it. So the stop time. So instead of uh, that's a total of like 60 second shot and you can extend to like maybe like 70 seconds so you can actually program the length of time or based on the volume as well. So because I know a lot of you out there start measuring with a scale and I want to stop at let's say 40 gram shot and you can actually program it. But here's big but though guys. Uh, I tried it many times. Every time is different. Okay. Sometimes I got 40 gram, sometimes I got like 45 gram. It says all over, so I prefer to use a manual mode instead. So, so I think that's what I recommend. So do the manual mode, okay? Just simply hold down any button, okay? Single or double button, and then do the pre-infusion and let it go. And if you wanna stop, just stop whenever you want to. I hope, that, uh, I hope this uh, tips helps. Yeah, go ahead and ask me a question. Um, Jeff wants to know, my wife uses 18 grams, but I prefer, or I'm sorry, my wife uses 17 grams, but I prefer 18. Who is right? Uh, Jeff, I mean, I mean, you guys are both right, okay? So Jeff asked me, uh, 17 gram or 18 gram? There's no right answer for that. It's all up to you. 
I like to use 17 gram for myself. And uh, you can actually, depend on the ground, uh, if, you, if you're using like very dark roast, you can only fit about 16 or 17 gram because, the, because darker roast is not as dense as the lighter roast. But with you are using the lighter roast, I bet you can pack it in 19 gram or 20 gram. So there's no right or wrong answer there. It's all dependent on what your taste, okay? Any questions about this? Um, Any confusion about the manual mode or how to set your temperature? I mean, once you, once you got this one down, I mean, there's so much easier to change up and down. So, I mean, it's all dependent on the, what kind of beans you guys are using. You are going to see the, the big difference in taste, okay? The water temperature matters when you are brewing coffee. So there's a shot. Gilbert wants to know, when you pull a shot, do you always count the pre-infusion time when you're trying to get within the 25 to 35 second range? So Gilbert asked me another wonderful question. When do I start the time? I mean, depend on who you ask, okay? If you ask James Hoffman, uh, he likes to include pre-infusion time. And uh, let's say, I know Mark did a video on that. Mark from Whole Lot to Love, he did a video on that a couple years ago. He prefer, he wants time uh, when, uh, see the first drop. For me, it's like, I'm kind of like between. So whenever I start to count the time with pre-infusion, I'm looking at between 30 and 35 second range, not the 25 and 30 seconds. Because, uh, because, I mean, pre-infusion time is a part of your brewing process as well. So make sure you have to include that as well. But again, but trust your taster, okay? If you are too bitter or too sour, adjust that accordingly. And let's see. By the way, as you guys can see, I have my Rancheria Sylvia set up right here. My Brista Express here, so... Now I have the both world. And also, I, I don't know if some of you saw my Instagram page yesterday. I just got, not just got it, uh, I'm borrowing it, uh, Rancher your S24, okay? No, S24. Uh, they are a heat exchange machine. So I set up my shop. So maybe sometime today I'll do a live on that video as well. Uh, it's, it's a heat exchange machine, so which means I can brew and steam at the same time. Okay. Can you, uh, any good grinders below 250? Someone asked me, any good grinder below 250? That's... Uh, try Bratza, okay? Try Bratza grinder. Encore is pretty good, okay? I think Virtuoso is around... Oh, yeah. Try Virtuoso. Bratza Virtuoso. They are a fantastic grinder. And I think they're around $250 range there. Make sure to check that out. And I know Smart Grinder is, Bravo Smart Grinder, they're a good grinder, they're around $200 range, but if I were you, okay, i definitely save money, and they definitely bump your budget up a little bit, and save some money, and just get a summer a little nicer, like Bracha, Sate, like 230 is really nice. That's like $300 range there, so, Satay 30 or 270 is also good too. So, because you don't want to skimp on grinder, uh, you you want the best grinder you know you you cannot uh, you can afford. So, that's my uh, tip for you. Um, Dane says you need to have a live peeling off the plastic. Okay, so okay, so I'm still, as you can see, I still have the plastic here. And at some point, I'm going to do the live show just dedicated to just peeling up. Yeah. <clears throat> As Silvan asks, is there a general practice for different roast and water temp? Uh, uh, so Ron asked me, is there a general practice for... Uh, there is, actually. You have to finish the question. Yeah. Uh, so Ron asked me, is there a standard for a brew temperature and the roasting type, okay? Actually, Bravo Brewster Express make us really easy. So here, here's, here's what I do. So whenever I use like medium to dark roast, I go minus two, okay? And then whenever I do like light to medium, I go like plus two or plus four, more like plus two. 
So kind of like in general vicinity. So if you have a PID, you can, you know, fine tune your temperature to like 195, 190, you know, whatever, okay, 193. But with this machine, they're simple. So your choice is somewhat limited. So it's make it a lot easier to, in a way, kind of easier to brew because you, you don't have much choice there. But I mean, at least give you an option to change your uh, temperature. With the Rancholia Servia, we don't have that option, okay? So this does not have any PID built in. So that's something you have to do with your temperature surfing. So, so that's also fun as well. That's the fun part. By the way, if you haven't bought uh, your loved one, uh, your loved one's uh, Christmas or holiday gifts there, just make sure you have, you have two weeks left, guys. So, I mean, if you don't want to spend too much money, just get a dosing funnel for your loved ones. Good for stocking stuffer. This is fantastic. And if you really love somebody, uh, get them niche grinder, okay? If not, I mean, temper as well. So, you know, just kind of like fun gadgets for your loved ones or even yourself as well. By the way, I've been using this, uh, what's that called? A knockbox from Bravo. I mean, this is the best 20 bucks I ever spent. This is really fun to use and it's compact. compact and also it match with my machine. So yeah, it's not bad. Make sure you get it from Bravo website, okay? I mean, it comes to Bravo parts. Amazon is really pricey. So if you go to Bravo website, they're like at least 50 to 70% cheaper. So make sure you check out the Bravo website. Let, what time do you have to get okay, so questions? Machine without grinder. Oh, someone, someone say Hario grinder. V60 compact grinder with Breville espresso machine without grinder. Okay, so here's the problem with those handheld or uh, hand grinder, okay? Because it comes to the low end, you don't, it does not give you a finer setting. If you go with the, like really, really high end hand grinders out there, like Kinu or uh, I think it, quite a few, okay, uh, Helio, those grinder has really, there's some grinders are made for espresso, but those higher yours is not, but you could, use, you could use by using the pressurized baskets, so you can have really fresh grind beans with the pressurized baskets, and then you can actually brew some really good coffee. So the answer is uh, yes and no. You cannot, you cannot use a single uh, pressurized, uh, non pressure basket for a you know, hand grinder because it's not made for that. And, um, okay. Have you tried Robusta beans? Robusta beans. Someone asking me, do I try the Robusta? Oh, yes, yes, I have. Yeah. If I make a shot go under extract and after a little second go down in gray zone, why is this happening? If I make a shot, because someone make a shot and then and it is under extracted. Under extracted. And after a second, go down into the gray zone. Why does this happen? Oh goodness! If someone pulled a shot, is under uh, under extract means you don't have enough the resistance from the grinder size, so you have to change your grinder setting. Okay, so whatever your grinder setting you have, go down about one or two notch below, and then you're gonna see some uh, see some difference there. If you cannot see any result, go down to even like one or two on the finer setting on the outside gear as well. If that doesn't work, your next step is the inner, inner bird setting, okay? So you have a lot of options when it comes to grinder setting. And what's the difference between the St. Anthony's distribution tool and the Chinese distribution okay, tool? Okay, what's the difference between St. Anthony industry distribution tool and Chinese one, okay? So this is a Chinese knockoff. So this, this is the San Anthony industry. It looks the same, but just the beer quality is night and day difference. Obviously, the you know, price is different as well, but just the beer quality, really precise. So this one, 53.3 uh, millimeter versus 53 millimeter from Chinese make. And so, because 
making espresso is a very precise uh, process. So you want to be more precise is the better. But here's the dirty little secrets out there. Even though it's very precise, it's going to be taste better. Can we, we are going to be, it's going to be noticeable. Answer is maybe not for most of us because I like to drink milk based drink. Okay, once I put the milk and syrup in it, it's going to be all go away. Okay, but if you like, if you're like purist, if you like to drink espresso or like black, long black coffee, you may difference in shot quality, but it's about that much difference there. But here's a big but though. Overall, the experience making uh, your coffee in the morning, obviously, you know, it's more fun to use San Anthony industry tools than okay, so entire so this is like experience and the versus uh, some using you know just plain Jane distribution tool. So I mean if you want okay, if you, for me it's is hobby. Coffee is my hobby. And if you just want to make good coffee in the morning, it's nothing wrong with buying some cheap uh, distribution tool. So it's all up to you. What is the default temperature? Uh, someone asked me again, the default temperature is, I think it's about around 200 degrees there. So back to the temperature again. Single cup represent uh, plus two, double cup represent uh, plus four minus two for the filter size and power button is minus four so very easy to remember plus is on your right hand side minus is on your left hand side okay jake says why use a lower temperature for darker roast jake say why you're using lower temperature for darker roast oh th that's a great question because okay I'm not a coffee expert, guys, but what I learned from other uh, experts out there, because uh, the lighter roast is a lot more dense, so you need a hotter water to extract, okay, to get the flavor, you know, get the coffee extracted, versus that a lighter roast is not as dense, so you want a little lighter, you know, it's not as hot, so, so cooler temperature, not the cooler, but, you know, the minus two, minus four is better for that coffee, so easier to extract it. So that's what I know. By the way, if you guys, if you guys understand the entire concept, please leave me in the comment so I can share that with my viewers. Okay, what else? You have more questions. I got some more. We're gonna take some. Try adding a PID to the Sylvia. Uh, someone asking me, do I want to add PID to? Yes. Uh, my plan is I'm playing at adding PID on this machine. Hopefully uh, next few months there as well as I'm gonna shout out to Very Brista to sending me this. So this is a, a aftermarket kit. Uh, this is the precision uh, shower screen as well as a silicon gasket as well. So I'm, I'm planning on installing that as well. So I have a lot of plan for this. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to making video about, uh, video about that as well. for a V60 on Amazon, all sold out. Any suggestions where to get one? Okay, so Linda asked me, V60s are sold out on Amazon. Wow, that's incredible. That's crazy. Uh, I wonder if you can go to hire your website directly or check out Seattle Coffee Gear, okay? Go to Seattle Coffee Gear. I know they have some V60. Uh, if not, uh, let's see. I wonder if you can even try Walmart too. Or target. I'm gonna take a one more question and then I have to get going. Should I count pre-infusion in the shot time? So again, so back to shot time, should I add pre-infusion? Uh, try you know what guys? Try both ways, okay? Try both ways and find out which uh, coffee taste you like the best. And then go from there. Since we have the machine at home, you do so. Just play around, get the what is the right a uh, taste for you. Because I prefer right on the between, okay? So I like to between, I like to start count it from the beginning, from the when I start the button, and then uh, between 30 and 35 seconds. 
So just make sure to play with it. I'm going to take one last question. Yeah, Dane says in Australia, Hoon, is there a way or a good resource to learn and understand tasting notes? Uh, Dane asked me, is, is there a good way to learn, way to learn on the good tasting notes? So whenever you buy coffee, uh, coffee beans, coffee roaster, actually more like grower, uh, tell the roaster what the uh, tasting note profile is. And then the roaster is going to, based on the roasting techniques and the heat, the how long, and they bring out those flavor out. And I don't know how they do it, but they do it. So even this one, uh, this is Good Brothers Coffee, uh, this is an espresso blend, sweet, smooth, and creamy. But if you look at the other coffees, so this is also Good Brothers Coffee, uh, Guatemala has an almond and toffee and lemon flavor, okay? Uh, let's try that this one tomorrow morning. So the, the way they grow and the, how they roast, bring out all those flavors. So I think the best way to do it just, because we know most of us what sour and bitter taste like, okay? And then we are going to start dialing in those shots and maybe trying to bring it out those flavors. So you know what, uh, tomorrow morning, join me. And uh, uh, I'm going to dial in uh, Guatemala beans from Good Brothers. And uh, hopefully we can get the, I mean, close to those flavor profile. And uh, I think I'm planning on using my Rancholia uh, Serbia tomorrow morning. So I think this is a better espresso motion for sure. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like it, thumbs up for me. But uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, make sure to join our community. It's a lot of fun, guys. And then make sure to join us on morning as well. And uh, uh, follow me on Instagram too. See you guys tomorrow morning.